Hi, I'm Joanna from Joanna Miranda Studio, and this is my video series, Art Bag, Time-Saving Tips and Tricks. As you probably know, I love to illustrate, and I love to illustrate primarily freehand in ink. When I'm done with the ink part of the illustration, I prefer to color it with watercolor so I can keep the end result loose and flowing. Effortless? Maybe not so much. Because in today's video, I'm going to show what happens when I have an illustration fail, or in other words, when I've overworked an illustration. In my Seven Ladies illustration, I started the color process by adding yellow watercolor to all of the borders on this upper left of the page. I also made the picture frames for my Seven Ladies for the first three, this one, this one, and this one, I made them yellow. Now, full disclosure, I happened to be in a bad mood when I started coloring this illustration. And when I came back to look at it, I realized that, oh, I hadn't really wanted these frames to be yellow. I had wanted them to be blue. Now, instead of being a big girl and going for a walk in the park and kind of regrouping and looking at the illustration with fresh eyes, I just plunged right ahead and started trying to change the yellow in these frames. And I tried to do that by adding blue on top of the yellow. And what do you know, when you add blue, on top of yellow, you get green. And the more I tried to make the blue, especially in this frame, more blue, the more muddy and actually damaged the paper got. Now, I could have just done this, and in fact, I was really tempted to do this. But doing that would have meant tearing out a page in my Moleskine notebook, which I really don't want to do. So I took a break and I came back to the illustration a little later and decided to finish it to see if I could learn something from whatever came out as the end result. As you can see, there are also other places in addition to the frames where I overworked the paper. Like here, this background was way too overworked. And in here, there it's streaky and she's unfortunately quite blue in the face in an unpleasant way. Um, but as I proceeded, I started to find some things that worked better. Like, I like this area a lot, how I did it. And I started using this technique over here for this part, and this part, and this part. And I'm going to actually demo what I did in those little panels that worked better than what I did over here and over here. For my demo, I've created a panel, sort of like the panels that I had in my Seven Ladies illustration. And I first drawn random hearts with my fountain pen. And then I went ahead and, and filled in the hearts with touches of watercolor. I actually started with more intense watercolor on the upper hearts and let the ink, not the ink, excuse me, the watercolor just sort of fade out naturally. And then towards the bottom, I added some yellow. And using the techniques that worked a little better in my Seven Ladies illustration as I neared the completion, I'm going to do the same thing in demo here. So I have a water brush pen. It's just filled with water. And you can always have a scratch, uh, you know, piece of paper towel just to sort of make sure that there's no old ink on the brush. And I'm sort of squeezing some water out. And I'm just going to squeeze water this way and start sweeping it down across the illustration, my little demo piece here. And what I'm showing is that you can get an effect of color gradation just by working a little water over what you put down initially, okay? I think I might get a little bit of ink blend as well, but that's okay. Sort of a, as Bob Ross would say, a happy accident, okay? And there we have a color gradation and a little bit of pink softly merging into the yellow. And that's how I recommend if you want to do large sort of background panels um, that you don't just add lots of extra watercolor on top of watercolor because that just makes the effect muddy. And that's a wrap on today's art bag time-saving tips and tricks video. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Also remember that I post these videos every Monday and Friday, so I hope you'll come back soon to see whatever new video I've put up. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.